Hey, dun dun dun. It's time for a new video. Can we just take a moment to commend me? What a great intro that was. I get your attention by saying hey, increase suspense with a dun dun dun, and then welcome you with a warm smile. <laughs> I'm great. Yeah. 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 No. Yeah. What does Vulgar Clone think about it? Boogers. Interesting. I made Vulgar Clone because he really speaks to what the. That's my dog, Mitzi. I made Vulgar Clone because he really speaks to what the kids are into these days. <laughs> kids are our future. That's great. Great. <laughs> great. I believe the children's are our future. Throw them candy and they'll go away. Is that how that song goes? Probably not. That's how it should go. Probably not. What are we even talking about anymore? Transition clone, get me out of this. Swoosh, it is time for a new topic. Swoosh. Today I want to talk to you guys about the secret to creating stuff. This here symbolizes um, creating stuff because it's like atoms smashing together, becoming double atoms, datums. That's what science calls them. Also, cavemen used to build stuff like this, smashing things together. Ooga booga, tooga booga. Datums. Anyway, yes, there is a secret. People say it's complicated, but it's not. People are always like, uh, there's no one answer, just find out for yourself. But there's not, there is one answer. That's right, what you've been waiting for. There is one silver bullet that will make you creative. Tours light, no. Although a lot of alcoholics are creative. Don't drink, kids, it's bad for you. That's why there has never been any images of me drinking on this channel ever. <laughs> shifty eyes, shifty eyes. No, the secret is not really a secret. I've talked about it before, probably. Is, don't expect to like what you're making. I'd say 70% of the things I make, I don't even like. But if you're working on something really hard, it's also impossible for you to have an objective opinion most of the time. I worked on my short film, Fine Tuned, for months. By the end, I, there was no way I could possibly know if it was good. I knew that I did what I was supposed to do and what I kind of planned to do, but I had no idea. In fact, I'm not, I'm not watching it now for a while until I forget what it is so I can go back and actually discover if I like it or not. But there have been many other times where I'm making something and I'm like, yeah, that's all right. I don't know. I don't know about that one. Yeah. That was in my donkey phase. I can be such an ass sometimes. <laughs> but you have to just let it go, let it go. No. Let it go sometimes because it's impossible to to even really have a good opinion in that moment. There are things that I loved when I was done and now I hate them. There are things I hated when I was done and now I love them. There are things I just dated for a while but it didn't work out. I used to make love robots. If you want to create something, the fact that you are creating it, love it or hate it, is already a billion times better than not making anything. Probably. Unless you're making something um, hateful or... Um, Coleslaw. I don't really, I don't like coleslaw. Anyway, I'm just saying, at least for me, the more I make stuff, the less I just blindly fall in love with it. I'm mostly picking out flaws in everything I do. There are many things in this video that I hate. The whole part where I was thinking children are our future? What a dumb, what a dumb idiot. And an even worse part is the part where I criticized the part where I was playing it. What a dumb idiot. But I think if you come at it from a place where you're not falling in love with your work, but making it a thing to shape and make better, and you realize you are never gonna be fully satisfied, you can let it go. Let it go. Is that, when are we gonna be able to say that again? But I think then you will create more things. And the more you create, the better you get. And the better you get, the better you feel. So hate what you create. Can you deal? Now this is the trick to being more creative, not necessarily the trick to being successful. I think being successful and making good stuff are two different things, apparently. Now how do I conclude this? Transition clown. Swoosh, we are done. Wheezy, Speaking of creating stuff, I've been creating the new WheezyWaiter.com because I like to have a .com, all right? Here it is. Well, this is screenshots of the website, not the actual website. To see website, go to website. I'm working on it. It's a work in progress, but my limits are really only my creativity because I'm using Squarespace. They make it super duper easy with 24-7 customer support and interface that's super easy. So in your face, other interfaces. Very good looking design, even better looking than this. And you can start a free trial with no credit card required and use the code Wheezy to get 10% off your first purchase. Okay, click the link right below on this screen and in the doobly-doo. That is all.